honorable, honorable speaker. What an honor and a privilege to speak after the Honorable Boutelezi. At this podium, some politicians are found out and some politicians are rediscovered. And we saw that this afternoon. It's an honor and a privilege to speak after such a speech given by an elder statesman in the House. What a tumultuous year we've had, Honorable Speaker. Some of us may have forgotten we started the year and then it was election mode and we went to an election. And after the election, and specifically today, it became clear to me that the term PLUS is a very popular term. Um, now, we in the Freedom Front PLUS is going to take exception to the fact that more and more parties now suddenly want to be called PLUS. We, we cannot, <laughs> we simply cannot allow that. We solely claim PLUS for ourselves. And if anybody else is going to claim that, I'm going to take that to the Rules Committee. I'm sorry, we cannot allow that. <clears throat> Honorable Deputy, Honorable Speaker, in this year we've seen many changes, and the Honorable Mazzoni is correct. The only constant is change. We've seen a new speaker in this year. We've seen a new executive, a new cabinet in this year. We've seen a new leader of the official opposition in this year. We've seen a new chief whip of the official opposition. And we've seen many other things. That's what happens in politics. And when we come at the end of a year like this, it's only appropriate that we stand still and think and reflect on where we came from during this whole year. It has been a difficult year for many, many of the parties and for many of the colleagues in a personal level. But here we are, we survived jointly this year. We even passed the budget, although some of us objected correctly so. But here we are at the end of the year and it's now appropriate and it's time for all of us to go home, to rest and to spend some quality time with our families. Because while we are working here day and night, we sometimes do not look after them the way that we should. And that's just the reality of the job that we all are in. I also would like to extend a word of thank you to the staff of Parliament, those members of the staff right through, be that the catering staff, be that the security services, be that the administrative, the committee sections. They are the ones that work behind the scenes to make us as politicians look good. And we should always remember that and be thankful and say thank you to them and appreciate what they are doing. I want to wish all colleagues well in the festive season. Go home, rest, switch off your cell phones, take off your shoes, go and walk barefoot and just relax and enjoy. But next year, we'll be back. Because next year is the year before the next local government election and the political fight will continue at that stage. But at this stage, today is not the day for political fighting. It's not the day for scoring points. It's a day to respect one another as colleagues because in the end, each and every one of us represent a full soccer stadium of voters out there that sent us to this place. And we must act in a way that respects their wishes and their will and what they expect of us. I say thank you on behalf of the Freedom Front Plus. Go well, rest well. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Thank you very much.